What's going on everybody? Justin here with AmericanMuscle.com and welcome to a special ready to rock edition version of Hot Lap. That's right, because the man himself, Vaughn Gittin Jr. is in the building. What's going on, sir? Oh man, just enjoying it. Always enjoy coming out and hanging with you guys, the American Muscle crew and uh, looking forward to having some fun. Absolutely, man. Now we're actually here. You brought by some of your brand new RTR tactical performance suspension stuff. We're going to be checking that here out, of course, today. But first, a while back, we actually caught up with you for the development of some of these parts. And we actually had a lot of fun at Semit Point. So it was a good day testing, wasn't it? Yeah, man, it always is. I love, you know, developing and trying, you know, our plans that we put on paper put them in the real world and uh, just beating it up, making sure it's going to handle it. He certainly beat it up. Believe me, guys, check this out. All right, so we're out here at Summit Point Motorsports Park in beautiful West Virginia amongst the mountains, the trees. And I understand we're doing some R&D out here today on some RTR suspension parts that you guys will be able to find here at AmericanMuscle.com. All right, so Vaughn, explain to everybody at home what exactly, what kind of testing goes into these parts that you're developing right now. We're looking at the springs, the shocks, and the sway bars. So basically going through a full sweep of each component and understanding where the balance of the car ends up. Then the other goal is to test optimum setups or suggested setup. All right, so we're out in the RTR Spec 2. What are we doing, man? Yeah, basically we're gonna go hit this uh, slalom first. Just feeling the bounce of the car when it transfers weight fully left and fully right. Right on. One for performance, the other for safety. Let's do it. So we're gonna hit this at about 70. These are staggered about 100 feet, so I'm gonna keep a steady state right now and run through here. The car is very smooth, so I'm going to brake and go into this right-hander and just make sure the car is not want to come loose at all. Still feels pretty neutral. I can feel a little bit of oversteer, um, but the biggest thing is that oversteer, understeer, and neutral bounce are really good. You just don't want it to all of a sudden snap. So you don't want it to all of a sudden go into understeer or all of a sudden go into oversteer. You want to be able to feel it coming and you can compensate with throttle or the wheel. So definitely this setup right now, the rear bar is on full stiff. Okay. This is where we are in our sweep and you can feel the bar doing what it's doing. It's definitely taken grip out of the rear. Uh, I'm really pumped. You know, everything that my engineers and I dreamed up on paper has now been proven on the track. I was able to achieve uh, understeer, a neutral bounce, and uh, my favorite, some oversteer. I can attest this thing is nasty. The parts are definitely doing work, Vaughn. Well, great job. We're happy to bring you guys some behind the scenes R&D work here at the track. And uh, you guys can catch all these new RTR parts on AmericanMuscle.com. Vaughn, well, thanks dude again. Appreciate it, brother. Have fun. Oh yeah. Hey guys, so you just saw Vaughn on the track himself testing out the RTR Tactical Performance lineup. And who better to talk about the Tactical Performance lineup than the man himself? So why don't you walk us through your Tactical Performance suspension line? First we have our adjustable strut and shocks. These have a RTR specific valving. They're adjustable so that you can dial in whatever ride quality you're looking for on the street, but also on the track. The adjustment range is will work with just about any spring out there. However, we did develop them to work with our RTR lowering springs, a one and a half inch drop. Okay. They are a progressive spring. Okay, and lastly, we do have the sway bars with some adjustable end links, right? Yeah, so we have uh, four way adjustable bars. Uh, these bars are uh, relatively large. We believe larger bars, softer springs give you a lot better ride on the street, but also give the adjustability that when you know the car rolls over on the springs, the heavier bars hold the car up and give you that significant cornering stability. These also allow you to dial in a understeer balance, a neutral balance for the track, or an oversteer balance for drifting or having the kind of fun that I love to have. Um, we also, like you mentioned, have the adjustable end links. Uh, everything's super high quality, aluminum, and also um, our axle mount for the rear sway bar is billet aluminum that's anodized black and uh, super strong stuff and ready for anything you can throw at it. All right, guys, so if you want to find out more information about the RTR Tactical Performance lineup, you can always head back to AmericanMuscle.com. 
All right, continuing with our special edition of Hot Lap, we have Vaughn Gittin Jr. in here for a little Q&A session. Now, Vaughn, let's jump right into it, man. The 2015 Mustang absolutely blowing up. Talk about your experience with the car after about a year now. Yeah, I mean, well, first of all, it's amazing. It's better than any of the previous gens, for my opinion. The EcoBoost is what I'm most mind blown about. Uh, I have an Eco daily. You said you might have something up your sleeve for the EcoBoost in the near future, right? Yeah, we're, we're working on some things. I'm really excited about the platform. You'll be one of the first to see it. That's what I that. like to hear. Let's switch gears a little bit. Let's talk about Formula Drift. Let's talk about your experience so far with the season. For me, my approach is this year is, you know, show up with my team ready to rock and, and attack all competitors. Um, I'm always chasing down the championship and always trying to be one of the top guys, but my biggest thing this year is just having fun and uh, putting on a good show for my fans and, and challenging myself. The question I get a lot for you, as a matter of fact, do you have plans to make the switch to the S550? Yeah, uh, we will be switching uh, to the new S550 next year. In fact, okay. I think this is the first time I've ever told anyone that officially. So there you go. There you go, Mustang um, News, living up to its name. Again, man, thanks so much. It's always a pleasure chatting yeah, with man, you, Yeah, man, I really appreciate that. Anytime, man. man. Thank you all, appreciate it. Well, guys, that's going to wrap up this special ready to rock version of Hot Lap featuring Vaughn Gittin Jr. Vaughn, thanks so much for hanging out, brother. And thanks for having me. Always a good time. Hey, man, anytime. It was our pleasure. And, guys, be sure to check out the brand new RTR tactical performance parts for your S197 right here at AmericanMuscle.com. And, Vaughn, I'm sure we can look forward to seeing you at our show August 15th, right? I will absolutely be there. I had a blast last year. Please bring us some toys. Of course, Chip Foose will be there giving away the MMD by Foose Mustang GT. You don't want to miss that. And we cannot forget this show is benefiting Make a Wish. We're doing something really cool this year, guys. Jonathan's getting his wish made at our show. We're making over his new edge Mustang. We're tweaking this thing out, man. He's yeah, that's love amazing, it. you guys. I think so too, man. It's gonna be pretty rad. So we're gonna unveil that thing at our show. And we're gonna have 10,000 people, 3,000 Mustangs. Sounds like a party, right? Sounds like a serious party. And I know last year was awesome. I'm sure it'll be better this year. So I look forward to seeing everybody out there. There you go, bigger and better, man. That's gonna do it for us. We're out of here, guys. But for all things Mustang and RTR, keep it right here at AmericanMuscle.com.